Hi Jeff, welcome to the Be Fearless podcast once again. Ah, thanks for having me back. It feels just like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, brand new venue, brand new yeah. country. The last time around, you know, it was Singapore. Uh, yeah. Now we are in Las Vegas. Other side of the planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, how has this year been? I mean, I think like this is an amazing I mean, I, facility. Yeah. I think I lived two years in the last six months. It's just been such a compressed time frame moving. For those of you who don't know, we moved locations with only six months notice and it was crazy. And I think the community really raised the bar, yeah. right? They really reacted, they really supported us and our, our helpers and our staff, everybody. It was just, we made this happen. So I think there's a lot of sense of accomplishment, yeah, a feeling right now that we were challenged and we did it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I can, I can see that in the sense, this is my experience as well in the new venue. Honestly, I feel like everything is, everything being under one roof is a big accomplishment. Yeah. Because last year it was, I mean, sometimes a little painful to kind of do the casino hopping. Oh, and we were, remember Caesars Forums, right? That big space, we filled it the first year. Yeah. And uh, when we signed the contract to go there, we were told that that building was going to be two stories tall. Oh. <laughs> so we signed the contract and in the end it was one story tall. <laughs> so we outgrew it the moment we moved in. This place, we know what we've got and we're not going to be tricked by, you know, renting something that we don't think we can grow in. Here, it feels really nice. Yeah. yeah. And and honestly, like, you know, I mean, I gave a main stage talk yesterday as well. I really felt like this was the first time you could just walk in, as you said, right? Like there aren't people like brushing against you. Yeah. Lines were moving a lot faster. There's a massive amount of space that you can actually sit down, mingle with folks. Right. Uh, I think you can't underestimate that all in one space feeling. Uh, yeah. And at first I was worrying about everything. And the, uh, the, the people on social was just like, it's going to be great because we're all going to be in one place. They were fixating on the positives. And as an organizer, <laughs> you're just fixating, fixating on the negatives. Yeah. And I quickly realized like, no, it's going to be great because people are going to see each other spontaneously and they're not going to be crushed. And it's going to be, it's going to really change the dynamic. And um, somebody said that they know there's a lot of people here, but because of the extra space, it made it feel as if they were at an older DEF CON, mm, you nice. know, because it's more chill. Yeah. And uh, he's right. Yeah. And I think what I really liked is, you know, there are these small breakout areas where you have chairs and tables where people are sitting, you know, mingling. Yeah. It feels a lot more flat, you know, versus before where you really had to go around and discover, you know, where people are sitting in different casinos, wherever. Yeah, where they happen to be. Yeah. Also, no distractions for what it's worth, right? You aren't really like having to walk through. Blinky lights and ding, ding, ding exactly. and smoke. Yeah. Exactly. So how many days back, you know, did the whole like DEF CON team camp themselves? I mean, must have taken like a crazy amount of effort to set all of this up. To build this all up? No, they, I mean, it was, it was about a week. It took about a week. And then, uh, and then you only get a couple of days to tear it down. So it's a wow. huge rush pulling it out. A yeah. lot of time to put it in. Yeah. No, I mean, I can only imagine. I think, you know, uh, personally, me and the team, we had a fantastic, uh, you know, experience. Well, I was going to say, you came here, you hit Black Hat. Yes. And then you hit DEF CON. Yeah. And you've been to DEF CON since, or on and off. For 17 years. Def, yeah, 17 years. And you've been to Black Hat. And so, like, now you've got Square X, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, what's that like now? What are people talking about? So I think, you know, if you go back like 17 years, I mean, I'm sure you have, uh, you know, history going dating way before that. Yeah. I think 17 years back, you primarily only found like folks who were very passionate about one specific topic like Wi-Fi security. And all of them would just congregate together. Maybe in mean, those days, there wasn't a village specifically. Right. So people used to just talk about it like after a main stage talk and huddle together. I actually feel now that there's a lot more focus on individual topics. I did like a little keynote at the adversary village, you know, a bunch of things that we spoke about at the recon village. So I feel what I like is at this point, if you really had to focus on just certain topics, you could just go in. Yeah. Also, I feel, you know, overall, I mean, you've done an amazing job at making sure that, you know, it's a very inclusive culture. You know, everybody feels safe. Uh, I mean, I have so many members of my team. I brought in around six people and, you know, different age group, you know, uh, and, and they absolutely felt super welcome. And some of them weren't even technical, right? Mm. Uh, and I felt like, you know, they came back with the feedback saying they were approaching random folks asking about things. Right. And people were generally very cooperative in, in responding in teaching. So I think, you know, that culture of everyone helping each other, wanting to grow, wanting to learn 
I think that has amazingly compounded mm. and I can tell you not a not a mean feat given the fact that you know now you are at like 25 27 28000 people and I remember maybe 17 years back 3 4000 probably yeah yeah so that that in my views uh, is an accomplishment so I mean anything that you know you kind of do to preserve that culture I think when you get to the size you're a reflection of what's happening in the community yeah. and we've kind of got this this uh we're like a conference of conferences or a meta conference i guess you could call it yeah. and uh so we try to figure out who do we want to give space to yeah and are the kind of people kind of groups that we want to hold up to others in the community it's like you said people come here that might not be experts in one area or another. Yeah. They might know a whole lot about aviation and might know and not anything about, you know, yeah, something else. And so we want to make sure that the people that were platforming out here are people that we want them to yeah. interact with. Correct. So I think maybe that's part of the uh the welcoming nature, you know, is like yeah. we try to curate that a little bit. And uh and if you people do well, they get to have more space and try it on a bigger scale and if they don't do well, they get less space and and so uh things kind of organically expand and contract and new ideas come along and and I think yeah. uh not trying to micromanage it all and control it all is yeah. the secret. Mm. And mm. so I'm pleasantly surprised all the time by things that the community is <laughs> doing that I had no ideas have. You're walking around your yeah. the con you're organizing and you see stuff happening you had no idea. <laughs> and it's like, wow, that's that's really cool, you know? I would never have written that down on a list and said we have yeah. to do that, but it's happening. And so Yeah. I think a lot of people would be curious about like, you know, what talk did you manage to catch at Defcon? Any any talk? <laughs> no, I've just participated I mean, of course, the in the talks. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been <laughs> participating closing, yeah. in talks and uh Yeah, it's funny. I've just yesterday was my busiest day. I think from the moment I woke up to almost the, you know, midnight, it was just back to back to back to back. This is the first day I've had to kind of wander around and really yes, yeah. see this whole hall. Mm. Um and tomorrow I'm going to go check out the third floor. I haven't been to the third floor yet. Wow. I know it exists. Yeah. I've been all over the second floor, but I haven't yeah. made it to the third floor yet. Yeah. Um so but it's been amazing. I've run into a lot of people that I don't think I would normally have run into because previously I wouldn't have changed hotels very much. Right. You know. Uh it would have been too hard. But here it's like you just wander around and you know and I think the inclusion of the food You don't have to run off site, you know. Correct. So it's pretty nice. Yeah. I think um I'm hoping, I don't know, but I'm hoping we'll get really positive feedback and we'll be able to figure out how to do it again here and that people will spread the word. Yeah. 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 So one of the questions if is this year I see a lot of new events. I mean, the whole like AI XCC, I mean like seems it's absolutely crazy. yeah. So any any of the new ones that you were specifically excited about and well, I mean, AI XCC yeah. was sort of out of the It's just completely out of the realm. I mean, it's just so yeah. over the top, so well done, so giant and so it's uh it's not something that would just organically happen, right? The DARPA yeah. in uh they wanted to come in and build something to grab everybody's attention and get them interested and they've done a really good job. I think a lot of the other stuff is now we have space for new ideas. Right. Before we didn't have much space to grow. Now we have space yeah. to grow. We could more seats for competitors and capture the flag more teams mm. to capture the flag because we have more right. space for them you know it, it starts impacting everything we do and it kind of gives a breath of fresh air to everything like ooh finally we can take it to the next level yeah. um but i want to circle it back around to you yeah. and tell me now <laughs> what are people thinking of of square x like what did you see lots of competitors what what kind of new ideas did you see here is anything inspired yeah, you yeah. or no i think uh, i mean great question right so uh I did three talks, you know, actually four of them. Uh three in villages, you know, one in the main stage is finished, and primarily all of them were centered around like various aspects of browser security. Uh, so the main stage one which we had done was about like secure web gateways and all of that. Yeah. How and did that go? Yeah, that was fantastic. It got great press coverage. How many web gateways did you break? <laughs> all of them. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of each. <laughs> yeah, so so the interesting part was we we had like some of the top vendors send people over here at Defcon and i could clearly see like people were recording the video yeah yeah taking notes they couldn't wait for it to notes. be released they had to get it to their bosses right away yeah and and then we had folks like come in right after the talk you know telling us that you know they would want to contact us and all and i can tell you any time that a security researcher puts something out at defcon i think everyone takes it seriously 
so i actually feel like you know we were very very lucky you know absolutely honored that we were able to go ahead and present our research where now at a world stage people have started taking you know some of the, some of the stuff that we put out very seriously yeah so the swg talk was a fantastic win all top vendors are in touch with us at this point in time uh, the register and a couple of other press is also covered it mm, and excellent you know now forbes wall street journal we are trying to talk to them well, as well well hopefully it forces the vendors to improve exactly exactly yeah. and then we did another talk on mal extensions so this was really about like chrome extensions and you know yeah. how things can go bad and right after the talk and this was in the creators village right after the talk we had a lot of people come up to us and basically say hey we didn't even realize extensions could do this right so the best part that i actually feel like the whole team and i got is this live feedback on ideas that you present right because i mean we can put stuff up on online social media but i think people aren't very vocal people aren't yeah. very one to one it's very difficult to get that live exchange yeah so what i love about defcon especially is you would have people who may be senior directors cisos right which in other conferences of course they have the little name tag the big badge and the group of people yeah and they're very scared to talk openly to talk freely because of course you know you're you're, you're name, identified Yeah. You're identified, but over here at DefCon, you know everybody has the human badge. People just walk up to you, ask you difficult questions. Uh, you can be very direct and very vocal about the feedback you have about products. Right. So as crazy as it sounds, right after the talk, somebody walked up to me, looked pretty senior. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Well, what do you think about like this swig?" And I was like, "It's broken as hell." Yeah. And he was like, "Oh, okay." I, said, I work for the company. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh and he laughed at it and he said, "Look, you know, I mean again, I'm not speaking on behalf of my company, but everything you showed, like that just even opened my eyes. Like I'm actually hoping to go back and, you know, take this research and see what can happen." So, and and I can tell you that's a recurring theme. I met so many other speakers, you know, in the speakers room, yeah, uh in other places where people come back with the same thing saying, "Hey, people tend to take you more seriously when you get to present in a place like Defcon." Hmm. versus you just putting this isolated blog post somewhere right, and, and hoping, hoping it gets it attention yeah exactly so so i think you know the great platform that you know you the whole community and the team has kind of built i think is unparalleled i mean i still remember 2007 <laughs> right my very first trip to the us and that was literally for defcon to present you know uh, attack i had developed against web cloaking which was an encryption scheme and that put me on the map for security research right and you won't believe this the article the register wrote about swigs basically has a link which says long time security researcher and it links to the register's article in 2007 no way they had about, it yes wow yes. yeah so so that was fantastic yeah, yeah. <laughs> so oh, and you don't feel old at all <laughs> i don't no. I, i mean the only time i feel old is uh, i'm i'm trying to kind of like phrase that right yeah yeah uh, when there are so many people on my team and all of a sudden they are like hey vivek has done it for a while oh yeah and you're uh, not that long and <laughs> and and when i was even checking in into the speaker's room they asked me like hey is this your first time at defcon i was like no and they were like when was the last time they were like 2007 i was like oh okay like even i wasn't there back then yeah and then i do the do the math and i'm like 17 years <laughs> it's a it's a fair amount of time yeah so so jeff like what's next i think in two days time are you going to just crash and relax no for... in two days time we have defcon training monday and Ooh, tuesday nice, right nice, we have nice, new nice. yeah a new yes. different way of yeah and so wednesday is the day i crash okay and yeah, yeah. and and what's going on with like defcon training how is it this year any anything yeah, so interesting you want to highlight yeah um we were really concerned that the training around the world has been not doing so well right right um but it's done well this year here and i think it's probably just because conferences hacker summer camp there's right. a lot of people in town yeah um and it turned out really well uh so we're really excited um we've got some great trainers and we tried i think i ex- told you later earlier i mean we tried something new with defcon training where most conferences split it like 60 40 or 35% you know with a trainer and we do it in uh, 50 50 right split um just to try to attract more trainers and get more diverse people that may not normally train or might not financially work out because there's not enough people in the class maybe yeah we're just doing it to try something new yeah no that's amazing and i can actually tell you that there are so many folks you know who are very young who come to defcon for the very first time 
with the mindset of learning something new i mean i've i've been there myself and sometimes of course the talks can be a bit overwhelming yeah so i feel like the training is a fantastic addendum because a lot of folks who then want to just start from the very basics yeah i think we got you know yeah. everything from 20 minute talks right to talks to four hour workshops yeah. and now we have you know paid trainings at the end there's a whole spectrum for however people want to want to go yeah yeah no i'm sure i mean i'm sure that's going to be like one of the great highlights you know after the conference oh yeah um it looks like we might try to do some uh, defcon activities uh, around the singapore internet cyber week who oh, is it nice so if that works out yeah maybe yeah, we'll yeah, have yeah. a little defcon flavor in singapore later very nice what dates are this or just so the I audience think, uh, knows yeah the singapore internet cyber weeks i think in no is it november is it near to govware or it's sicw it's so they okay. it's like a whole week where they have a whole bunch of different events okay, so maybe nice. govware is on one part of it and the ssaw and then there's uh there's like generally there's like a meeting of the malware uh and ransomware task force and there's this group and that and it's it's kind of like a very small version of nice of what's happening here they're trying to grow so we'll support them yeah 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 i mean it will be amazing i mean like i'm 100% going to attend that in singapore yeah. uh you know that's a time frame where i'm i'm going to be there in singapore as well so defcon ends another 2 to 3 more days what are your plans are you going to just chill for like a yeah, whole so week not get out of the room no so now <laughs> now it's over but now we have to unpack pay bills wow. unravel stuff that takes weeks yeah so um everybody else gets to decompress and we immediately go into like where yeah. do we pack that you know yeah. who's paying that bill like how's it working um and then after that Yeah. Right then we get to everybody disappears for a while and gets to decompress and then it's like don't call me unless there's a fire <laughs> and people go you know and catch up with their life yeah. that they put on hold for you yeah. know I to do imagine. this yeah yeah pretty stressful yeah but um it's really awesome to see you out here yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely likewise and you know thank you so much for like you know being on the show as well i mean you look really tired today dude i am yeah. super tired i have had one slice of pizza the entire day oh my god i've had one red bull one pizza and like 10 waters. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's about it. Yeah. So and my throat shot from the dry air and speaking non-stop since Black Hat. Yeah. Since the CISO event. So I am I'm wrecked. So I'm I'm looking forward to like a little yeah. rest. I like a little rest, please. Yeah. Yeah. Among all the times that I've met you, today is the first time that I can clearly see you're tired. Or else you're the most fresh, energetic person. Dude, I mean, in every conversation. It is, and it's crazy <laughs> because I'm like people are like you should you should need some food. And I'm like, okay, I got something's going on. Like people are picking up on this and they're coming up and they're handing me chips yeah. and they're, you know, yeah. so I think like, we have a couple of bags of biscuit there. I was going to say I might need somebody said this is a fairly new thing in Vegas. They said, "Oh, you should go get an IV drip." Have you oh seen God. this? This I've heard of it, but I wouldn't dare to. <laughs> no, so you go in and they pump you full of normal electrolytes and stuff yeah, and heard. apparently it is life-changing for, you know, very quick recovery, rehydration. Yeah. And I've never done it and everybody keeps saying, "Go try it." You planning to? <laughs> I have a thing for needles and blood yes, so I exactly. don't think I can. Exactly. Only doctors should be putting that stuff in there, but um if this persists, you know, maybe I'll give it a yeah. try. Yeah. It's a new, everybody's doing it. I, that's what I heard like a lot of people <laughs> told me and some folks even said that's a that's a very good way to quickly recover from jet lag and what not and lag, Yeah. I didn't realize it, but you know, I had a a friend that she was a nurse and she'd party like mad and then she was great the next day and like what happened? She said, "Oh, I I brought some IV bags with me." Crazy. What? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, hacking your body. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Jeff. Yeah. I know it's been absolutely crazy busy for you. So, I always and the whole team always appreciates you making the time for us. And again, you know, we are very very privileged and honored that you're an advisor to the company. Uh, you know, thank you so much once Expecting again. Expecting big things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're working hard. We're working hard. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much.